Well, it's official. I uh, finally, yesterday, put in my uh, airline booking for a flight to Bangkok, Thailand. So just like last year, I went to South Korea and Manila. I'll be obviously taking my camera phone, my iPhone XS Max, and I'll be taking my battery and I'll be d doing my own rendition of the real Thailand when I get there. And I'll be trying to show you what the landscapes look like and what, um, you know, I'm going to have a nice hotel. I picked a really nice hotel. It was very inexpensive. The most expensive part was really the flight. But uh, the hotel that I picked is really nice, and I'm going to try to get around the city and see what the city life is like for that full week, um, plus a few days. And definitely I'm going to be out doing nightlife because, you know, alcohol is inexpensive there, and it's easy to uh, basically have party time over there. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be a great time. You know, one of the videos that I made uh, in Korea did like 4.6 million views and it was only like two and a half minutes long and I was actually surprised so I know I'm going to try to recreate that so this way it'll you know breathe more and more and more uh, views onto my channel because I like having a lot of views. So my preferred plane is the Airbus A380 and as you can see um, I really didn't take a lot of video on the A380 because I had a smaller capacity phone but um, I'll be flying on two A380s going and two A380s coming back. Both of them A380 800s. And um, it's a great plane. I've flown business class. I've uh, flown, uh, what is it called, um, economy when I couldn't fly business class. But um, I like uh, flying business for the longest portion of the flight, which is like sixteen hours in total. But uh, if you're just going to Bang, if you're just going to Dubai, it's only like twelve and a half hours. Now the the second part where you go to Thailand is like six hours or something like that. But Emirates has the absolute best service of all airlines. Like I've been on a number of airlines, and it's like last year I went on Asiana, and first of all. A lot of what goes into having a good service, first of all, you have to have like well-trained staff and everything. Now, I've been watching all these horror shows in these American airlines, and all you see is just problems, 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 and it's just ridiculous. And every time you turn on the news, you're seeing something going down with Delta or American Airlines or something. They don't know what it's like to be on an Airbus A380. I feel bad for Americans who don't travel simply because they hate flying, because I understand exactly why they hate flying. The stewardesses suck, and so do those little ass planes they try to squeeze you on. It occurs to me that things have gotten much, 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 much worse. Because the thing about it is, it wasn't enough. Yeah, you see, I'm recording on, you know, live on my uh, computer while trying to do taxes and everything. So, anyway, the Airbus A380, much to my chagrin, they're claiming that they're going to stop making the Airbus A380. Now, I love that jet. Boeing makes the 787 Dreamliner, which I haven't ridden on yet, but sooner or later I'm going to take a flight on the Dreamliner. Emirates Airlines, Etihad, Asiana, because they know that they have so many people going back and forth, they doubled down on their, um, you know, their purchases of A380 800s simply because they know that they're moving so many people back and forth at the same time. The flights between America and South Korea, the flights between America and China, the flights between America and, uh, um, uh, what what are the Hong Kong? They know they've got a lot of people moving back and forth. Now the A three eighty eight hundred is originally designed to hold up to eight hundred passengers, but the reason why I love flying with certain airlines, especially Emirates, so much is that they realize you know they don't want to stuff these planes with people like they do in these shitty American airlines. What they do is they make. The seats for the regular economy customers cost about a thousand bucks, give or take. And then what they do is if you have first class, you're paying four or five thousand dollars. And if you have, no, I'm sorry, if you have business class, you're paying four or five thousand dollars. And if you have first class, you're paying like upwards of like twenty five to thirty five thousand dollars, possibly more, depending upon, you know, whether or not you get the private apartment and shit on the plane. So they cordoned off a lot of space for passengers who are willing to pay a lot more money in order to offset the cost of the plane. I understand that the plane's expensive to run. I understand all that. But the problem is the A380 is the way that we should be flying. If we were flying with planes the size of the A380, because even the 747 is not as big as the A380. The A380 is just so much bigger. It's so much more spacious. And the thing about it is, 
these multi-billionaire CEOs, they don't mind stuffing us in these little shitty Boeing 767s and these little shit little ass planes. They don't mind stuffing us in those pieces of garbage. And the thing about it is they don't mind you being on that thing for like 13 hours and above 13 hours, right? So my thing is, it's like Americans, one of the reasons why we hate flying is because air travel sucks so bad. However, the A380 and Emirates Airline, Asiana Airline in general, I can actually say that they've done a lot to make flying actually feel good. Like they've, they've done a lot to make it a comfortable flight. Because I'll tell you, if I had to fly an American air carrier all the way over to Thailand, there's no fucking way I'd actually go. I, I would just not do the trip. I, me personally, if I could fly Asian air carriers or if I could fly Emirates everywhere I go, like I would fly them everywhere I go. I don't care how much it costs. I want to be comfortable and I want to be treated like, you know, um, you know, just, you know, like you demand to be, like you should be treated. I mean, you turn on, you know, Delta Airlines, American Airlines, United Airlines, there's always some bullshit going down. It's like you got a father with his son and they're trying to get the son out of the seat. It's like, wait a minute, I paid for that seat. And then they're starting some shit only so that they could end up on the news later. And it, it makes no sense. But uh, bottom line is, they're saying that, um, you know, most of these air carriers, they only run these things with like 300 less passengers than they're capable of carrying. And they're talking about, oh, how much it costs and the financial crisis of 2007 and this, that, and other. I ain't trying to hear none of that bullshit. I'm trying to sit on the plane comfortably and be happy flying back and forth. I really think that this is a big mistake. The money that they claim that they're losing is basically... It's just, it's just, you know, like some people are like, oh yeah, well, we can't afford to make any less profit. Here's the thing. The American air carriers have, they've stuffed these people in these little planes. They've made flying a horrible, shitty experience. Going through John F. Kennedy Airport and going through security is a shitty, horrible experience. When I went to uh, South Korea, when I went to the Philippines last year, these motherfuckers stole my, they stole my gel deodorant. I had like three things of right guard gel deodorant. They fucking stole that. Like I'm planning to blow something up. They stole my hand oil. I had some nice hand oil some, and, and they stole that shit. They stole, um, what else? They stole my deodorant. They stole my hand oil. And then I, I think I had a thing of, um, I don't remember what it was, but it was something else. I think it was just a bottle of lotion. They took that shit too. Meanwhile, I had a bottle, or I should say a can of aerosol spray. I had a huge can of Lysol, and they didn't even pay any attention to that. They let that go through in my check bag, right? So they took my fucking oil. They took my right guard gel deodorant and let me get an aerosol can through. Meanwhile, I come back through the Philippines airline, and when I got to the Philippines airport, they saw these three big liters of juice bottles that I had. Like, I had some juice from the uh, hotel uh, refrigerator. And they took that shit from me. And they they said, oh, yeah, well, you're not allowed to have that. I'm like, what the fuck? What do you think? I'm going to blow up the plane with some fucking orange juice? I mean, come on. So anyway, they took that from me. I was really pissed off. But it was only like $1.50 a bottle. So, I mean, all in all, I lost less than $5. Then I get to South Korea, they see the aerosol can, they're like, yeah, we gotta take that shit. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So they took that from me, and then they saw some juice bottles that I had, some small juice bottles. They made me drink that shit while I'm standing next to the magnetometer, so I'm trying to be a funny guy. So I offer the security guy, I was like, hey, you want something to drink, buddy? And he's like, oh, no, 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 uh, can I drink, can I drink? And I'm like, no, no, sure, You come on, take a swig of this shit. So I was having some fun with him. I'm like, you guys are pains in the ass, man. And and it's bad. And, and let me tell you something about these racist air carriers. First of all, I don't do drugs. I'm not pro-legalization of marijuana. I'm not. And even though I know it's coming, I'm really not for it. Because I know that half of these fucking potheads are stupid. And they act like fucking zombies. Half of them. Like, some of them were smart enough to wait till later in life to start smoking pot. But me personally, I'm not for it. So anyway... I took a flight up to Maine, Portland, Maine. So I go to Maine. So what do these bastards do? They single me out for the fucking random search, right? They single me out like I'm carrying drugs. All I was carrying back was a container with some lobsters. That was it. A container with some lobsters. That was that was that was uh, it. I wanted to actually show you because I actually took a couple of pictures because it was such an annoying thing. You see this big ass white woman right here? She so they single me out. Now mind you. 
I'm like, yo, I'm not carrying any fucking drugs, but I guess they assumed, oh yeah, well you're the lone black guy flying back and forth from Portland, Maine that's got like a white population of like 93% or some shit. So they single me out. All I've got is a little box of lobsters. I gotta turn that off. So I got a box of lobsters and they single me out. I got no drugs on me, right? So basically they got, I, they give me the strip search, right? And when they give me the strip search and they're searching my body, right? Originally, they wanted to let this fat fuck right here to do the search on me. And I was like, no, I don't want you. I want her. So I have her do it. Because I was like, yeah, you're going to come over here and you're going to you're gonna feel, if see if I got any weapons in these pants right here. So you, I might have some hidden weapons in here. You got to search me. You got to search me real carefully. I'm like, you're not touching me, buddy. I don't want your freaking hands on me at all. I don't get massages. I don't want you touching me. Take your piggy fat fingers and go try to find just your TSA check that Trump says you're not getting this month or two months in a row. You're not getting your check because of government shutdown because he said that he wants money for his wall. So you ain't getting no check, buddy. But uh, I said, no, you're not touching me. So I said, no, in fact, because you do realize here's the thing. If these people ever demand to strip search you, keep in mind, you have the right to say, I don't want one person to do it. I'll let another person do it. Now, most men especially if they have small schlongs, they would say, hey, you know what? Uh, let this guy over here search me. I don't want this woman searching me. Now, me, I said, no, let her search me. Because this chick, as you can see, she was like six foot something tall. She was huge. I was like, yeah, you can pat me down with those blue gloves and you can see if uh, daddy don't like it. You know, but I'm like, you're not touching me, piggy pig pig. You ain't freaking touching me. So all I had is a box of lobsters and these races single me out. And they check me, they check the lobsters, they look in the lobster box, the lobsters are looking back at them like, yo, why are you racist checking this box and shit? And then they asked, you know, for help. They were like, please help me, because this bastard's gonna take me home and eat us. But um, that's just, you know, neither here nor there. So, okay, so here it is. Basically, I'm booked up on my way. Um, I've got 63 days remaining until it's time to leave. I'm gonna be leaving here at 11 p.m. at night. And as soon as you get on that plane, I'm going to go to sleep and I'm going to probably wake up in, well, I'll wake up in Dubai because it's like 12 hours and 12 and a half hours. And uh, there's a two hour layover and then I'm on my way to Thailand. So I've got some uh, co-workers and they're going to be coming with me and we're going to have some fun. We're going to be up there. We're going to see all the Thailand scooch and I'm going to be getting lots and lots of video. But let me tell you something. I understand, you know, your bullshit cost overruns and how you're trying to manipulate the markets and everything and everything. But the thing about it is the Airbus A380 is a beautiful plane. I don't care what any of these moron half ass car reviewers say about it not being pretty. The beautiful A380 should stay. It's a beautiful ride. It's a fantastic ride. There's no ride better than the A380 right now. Hopefully someday we'll get like supersonic transport, but I really don't see that happening. But um, these people are out of their fucking minds. Um, just because they're trying to pad their golden parachutes. And they're the reason why American air travel sucks so bad. They've decided that what we're going to do is we're going to make all this profit and we're not going to give you a comfortable seat. We're going to put you next to some crazy bitch who's going to start some shit. And the next thing you know, you're going to end up on Fox News or you're going to end up on MSNBC complaining about her ass. Or we're going to have a stewardess who's going to mess with you and just make you hate the fact that you were born or that you were ever bothered to go flying. It's like... American air carriers suck. Even American air security sucks. It's like you go to any other country, it's like they, they, they don't treat you with the same hostility. You know, it, it's disgusting. It's like, and when I look at what Americans put up with, I mean, you think if you've never ridden on an A380, you don't understand what I'm talking about. But if you have ridden on an airplane, especially an American air carrier recently, you understand what I'm talking about when I'm talking about how poor the service is. When you get on these Asian airliners, every single one of those women is a beauty queen. Every single... In fact, let me, let me see. Um, let me see. Let me, let me type in. What is this? Asiana... Because I was taking videos of them. You remember? Asiana Airlines Stewardess. Yeah, because, you know, I like using the word stewardess. I don't see nothing wrong with it. I don't know what's wrong with these women groups. When you get on one of these Asian airlines, let me tell you something. Every single one of them is a beauty queen, and they treat you like you're a superstar. 
or at least they treat me like you're a superstar and they do everything you need them to do. It's like they don't give you any hard times. You When's the last time you heard of somebody having a big major problem on one of their airlines? You don't. And that's the, re- and the reason why is because um, hospitality is their forte. It's like they do it perfectly, perfectly, absolutely perfectly. Yeah, you see, this is them holding up one of those Asiana Airlines. Um, a- this is definitely an A380 because it's got four engines. But let me tell you something. If I could fly Asiana Airlines to go back and forth from my house to work, I would do it. If I could fly Emirates to go back and forth to, I don't know, to Costco, I would do it. I don't want nothing from Delta Airlines. I don't want nothing from United Airlines. I don't want nothing from US Air. They all suck. Their their airline service is horrible. It's like they have the worst stewardesses ever. It's like they all have attitudes. They act like they don't want to give you soda. They act like they don't want to give you chips. They act like they don't want to do anything. And I hate them. I, I just hate them. It's like I refuse to fly with them. Um, never mind this picture right here. So anyway, um, so that's just what it is. Um, booked up for Thailand. It was a $2,000 trip. Um, I have to pick my seats. This is the Korean Airlines of Asian Airlines. Um, and yeah, and um, that's just what it is. So basically, in 60 something days, that's my spring break. I'm on my way. Get the hell out of this toxic environment, America. Get it? Because this place is toxic. I, I tell you, if I had $10 million, I'd move. You'd never hear from me again. I don't even know if I'd still be posting videos from overseas of car races. But yeah, this is how they see. This is how they train their stewardesses. None of this fucking American liberal feminazi bullshit. This is how they train all of it. Even the guys. Look at this. If you ask them for something, you'd be like, "Excuse me, um, can I have an extra pillow?" Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. And then they bow to you and everything. The first time I got on Japan Airlines, I got on Japan Airlines and one of their stewardesses bowed to me. I was like, what the fuck is this? And, and then I was like, oh, right. You guys are Japanese. I learned about you on Ninja Turtles. And um, I'll tell you, it's like they don't tra- like the airlines here are horrible. It's like horrible. And then, and then every now and then you get one of these stewardesses who thinks they're cool and they try to do rap songs and rock songs and shit while they're on the microphone. And you're like, excuse me, I want to file a complaint. Uh, as soon as you get off the plane, it's like, no, nah, we don't need all that. All I need you to do is get me some soda and some chips and to bring my food on time and get me some tea. And look at this. Every other country, every other country, every other country's got their, they got their stewardesses tight. Meanwhile, you go on American Airlines and it's, some, it's just some shit. It's just, it never fails. It's some bullshit all the time. They want to, it's like they're trying to start fights with you. It's like, why are the stewardesses trying to start fights with the goddamn passengers. It doesn't make no sense. This is Air Asia right here. You know, but no, let me tell you something. I would rather fly with them and risk and, and ju- you know, I, I just, it, it's like, it's not even that bad. Like, I've been back and forth to Asia so many times, and each time it was, like, fantastic. But um, where, where did I go? I went to Denver, Colorado. Man, that shit sucked. I was on, I think it was American Airlines, but that was a, a ticket that somebody bought for me, so I didn't actually have to pay for it. If I had a choice, I never would have picked them. But um, that's just that. So I'm very disappointed that they're going to cancel the A380. Hopefully, more and more Americans will boycott flying because they hate their seats and they hate the way flight is. And they'll say, you know what, I'm not flying with you. And that'll cost them so much money that they'll be like, you know what, maybe we need a bigger plane. Maybe we need better amenities at the seats. Maybe we need... um." You know, prettier stewardesses who are friendlier instead of starting some shit with the freaking passengers. So that's all I'm going to say. So basically, I'm going to be doing, I got the iPhone XS Max, 512 gigabyte. I'm going to make some huge movies. It's going to be big time legendary over there. Big time legendary movies. Uh, The real Thailand. That's what it's going to be. The real Bangkok. We're going to go over there to Bangkok. And uh, we're going to have a good time. And I have a really good time. So that's all I had to do because I hadn't done an update in a little while. So I just had to make an update. Thank you.